gentlemen and beautiful ladies. Okay, guys, going totally nuts tonight, right? Chicken breast. No, I don't like chicken breast. They need a whole lot of help. But check this out. Cardio diet. I'm actually going to eat a salad. Now, let me give you a history lesson. The reason guys do not like salads is because, you know, back in the day, you're out there trying to pick your lettuce, and the saber-toothed tiger jumped on your neck and bit your head off. I mean, are you going to risk your life for that? Hell no. The other thing is, they're sitting around, you know, around the fire, and they're watching the cows out there, or the bison, and they're eating grass. And guess what? Saber-toothed tiger jumps on that bison, bites his head off. Why? Because grass kills. It's dangerous. So it's just part of evolution right there. That's how it works. So, to make this palatable or edible, you got to add stuff to it. And so what we're going to do is we're going to add some meat. Now, of course, chicken breast doesn't qualify for meat, but it does, you know, you can make it flavored to, you know, make it taste like something decent, kind of like tofu. I'm going to be adding Texas Lumbre to half of it. And I'm going to be doing just this bad rub to the other half. Got some other people in the house that just, they like this stuff. We will be flash frying it in baking grease. Use olive oil if you're worried about it. But once again, baking grease, cardio diet. Also got some vegetables I need to get rid of, some mushrooms, some, some uh, little baby bell peppers, you know, some onion. We're going to mix that in there with that chicken, give it a little salt and salt. But that's it. Make the salad. I'm not even going to go over that. Just put a whole bunch of leafy green whatever's in there. I got almost everything, just everything's in there. Cucumber, all the stuff, right? So let's get this done. I know you all are in shock, but yes, I do eat salads, but not like, you know, just a salad by itself. That, that's just bad. I'm going to separate this out into two portions here. Yeah, it looks like good for that portion and good for that portion. This is that badger. This is some Walmart stuff. I use that kind of like a base. It tastes real good. It's like garlic powder, salt, you know, a little this, a little that, cilantro, oregano, whatever. It makes the house smell good when you're cooking with it, I'll tell you that, but I never use it as a main seasoning. It's kind of like, it's kind of like Italian dressing, so maybe you can call this gringo chicken seasoning. Hell, maybe I'll put that on a jar. Okay, this is seasoned up. I'm going to go ahead and set it to the side right there. It looks like a big pile of mush because it's a chicken breast. Now, for some real flavor, Texas Lumbre. I'm going to spread that out. I'm going to clean my hand off of the badger right there. Yeah, we're going whole hog. I'm, I'm going to get the flavor in there. Hell yeah. This stuff actually smells pretty good, too. That's going to work. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is cook this and get it out of the way. This is actually for somebody else. They ain't here, but I'm just going to cook it, put it in a bowl, and then they can add it to their own salad when they get home. I'm just going to use some olive oil on this one. And we're going to turn that wok to the mat. Okay, this chicken's done. Gonna go ahead and take it out. Now let's do some real cooking. Bacon grease. We're doing my salad now. Let's show you how it's done. And add a little bacon grease right there. Now the house is smelling right. Guys, this has been in there about maybe a minute and a half, two minutes. It's already getting there. It's almost done. I'm going to go ahead and add all these vegetables to this. Yeah. I'm going to add just a little bit more bacon grease. That's how I roll. Put a little char on that meat, and it's basically done. Okay, y'all, that's finished, so let's go ahead and put it on the salad right here. Here it is. Still steaming. Let's try a little piece of this. Mm. 
juicy and tender. Oh, damn, that's good. Now, most of the time, everybody's going to grab the ranch dressing and just bury this in ranch dressing. It's got a little kick. Hey. But, I was out and about, and I got some queso left over. Right? So, we're going to do this right. Cardio diet. Just got to remember that. Oh, that was a big clump. Well, we're going to have to mix that around. Yeah. Queso. Some cheese. How it should be. I'm going to go eat this while it's still hot before that queso seizes up like a block of cement. Anyway, guys, that's how I do my salads. <coughs> Just a little bit right there. Anyway, that's how I do my salads. And I appreciate you watching. Don't be screwing around with the salad and just putting like, you know, a little of that gringo, gringo chicken Italian dressing crap on there. Alright guys, appreciate you watching. By the way, if you're doing that low carb, Atkins diet, whatever. Yeah. Not very many carbs in this.